Yes, that's right. Chimaseki Apex Fizz and Style 3D. Guys, making fabrics for me is like so fun. <laughs> you guys know I love to make fabrics. I'm actually going to show you another video on uh, some fabrics I'm giving away for the holidays, guys. Um, here, I'm just importing my um, seamless knit pattern from Shimaseki. And I am giving it a little bit of a better cleanup and repeat. Sometimes the textures uh, have like a little fine line around them from just the uh, image export. So I'm just cutting that out, making sure that um, I'm giving it its own normal map because when you export from Shimaseki, you just pretty much export the, um, the texture map image flat image you don't get a normal map yet but they are updating very very soon so in style 3d which i love the fabric um style 3d fabric you can add your own normal map you can add it uh just by clicking the checkbox or you can create your own normal map um parameters i'm going to show you that in just a second when i go ahead and um start to do a couple more of these but you can go ahead it says up there you see like it's a checkered flag yeah right there and then gives you all of these mapping options displacement map i'm going to go ahead and make that but one thing that you do get in style 3d fabric is a jpeg i'm sorry not a jpeg a psd image once you start loading your images, you can edit them directly in Photoshop and bring it back in. So one of the, the great qualities of the software is being able to go ahead and just uh, create your depth math, maps um, just by clicking a button. But also you have the beauty of just integrating it directly into Photoshop. Now I'm going to make this normal map. I'm not sure what the effect is going to be. I remember not being too happy with it, but... Yeah, guys, you see those Christmas sweaters are coming. I'm going to post some of my Christmas sweaters um, at the end of the month. But guys, making your own texture in Style 3D uh, fabric software is a breeze. If you understand how to make maps and how maps are used in all of the 3D softwares, cross multi softwares, they're all pretty much the same. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and just make a few adjustments until I'm happy with the quality. And then after this, I do a few more before I get to actually making a garment with these. So I think one of the, the, um, the benefits of using the sweater knit is you can, the sweater knit texture is that you can actually go ahead and create cut and sew garments and with a few little tricks which I'll get into in another video you can actually um, make it look really realistic in a software like style 3d and uh, some of the other softwares with a few tricks but that is going to be a different video right now look at these lovely normal maps so I'm gonna go ahead and just see what I can create with these variations and it gives me certain options to increase the depth, increase the uh, detail, the structure, make it pop out a little bit. So you can make it flat. You can make it, uh, you don't have to just go with the automatic checkbox. You can go ahead and uh, increase these parameters. And as you can see, some of the colors change uh, in the blue texture map for the normal map. That's just giving it its height because the computer reads them in different colors as far as like height and depth and uh, details and all that. So this looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna stay with it. Um, usually I like the texture map around five or six for these knits, um, but let's leave it at one and see what we get in the actual garment. So some of these you can see the actual texture map, but some of them you have to render it out fully. So. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly, now I'm into the speed rush, and you guys are going to just watch me um, make these textures just the same way that I did. And then we're going to get right into making the garment.
So I'm just jumping back in here guys. I just went, went through all of the rib styles that I had and uh, went and made fabrics out of them. But something was missing for my design. So I'm going to go into Shimaseki now and show you guys how I made this rib. If you see in that little box up top, it says create seamless pattern. So it gives you the opportunity to go ahead and uh, select any kind of knit stitch that you want and organize it in a way um, that's pleasing to whatever you are thinking about designing. You can actually click on um, repeating the patterns or you can actually click on whole page, which is because it's seamless, that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna click on the whole page. Now this is a little bit more of a dainty, uh, feminine type of knit, which is what I was looking for for my design. And this is actually going to be in a higher gauge, which I believe was a 12 gauge. So I'm going to pick a yarn that goes with the 12 gauge. And you'll see that it comes in as a fine uh, knit. And it almost looks like a lace, like a crochet lace. So I'm going to go ahead and use that in one of my designs. So I'm going to save it out. I'm going to save it out as PNG just to preserve any of the opacity that might be uh, showing through the yarns. And I'm going to go ahead and just like I did before, create another fabric on that. Now you can see that there's a slight little gray line there that I'm just going to crop out. And with the tool uh, in uh, the fabric, you could just go ahead and edit it uh, to your liking. I kind of zoom in and zoom out just to make sure that my repeat um, is, you know, a little bit more accurate. So sometimes you can, if you zoom all the way out, you can kind of see like a, a start to have a linear pattern. So I just try to get rid of that as much as I can. With the seamless tool and with the cropping tool in uh, Style 3D Fabric, you can actually go ahead and just manipulate what you want to see within your repeat. So this is really cool, but this is a beautiful pattern from Shimaseki, isn't it? Came out so nice. So I really get hyped when I start using these things together because it just expands your horizon. It expands what your uh, visibility for design. It motivates you to like do different things. So it's it's good when you have a tool that is getting you there. You know, sometimes we get so bogged down with certain tools that we forget that we're creating. <laughs> if that makes any sense to somebody, give a like and subscribe and we're going to get this done. So now I'm just going to go through and do a couple more feminine, little feminine stitches and then you'll see me start to go into the design. I'll be back. All right, jumping back in here to upload another wonderful 
print. I'm just going to resize it. I'm not a print. I'm sorry. <laughs> a um, texture from Shima Steki. And this one is really cute, kind of flirty. And uh, I have a plan for this part of, uh, of a garment. So this one has the uh, opacity. If you can see, there are um, there's an alpha map that was... Um, actually, I did a PNG, like I said before, just to maintain the transparency um, so you can see the holes in the knit. And uh, you can see the holes all the way through. Yeah, look at that detail. Oh my God, I love it. Um, and then again, I'm going to create the normal map just to my liking. It's great that you have these parameters set up so that you can really get the effect that you want, the realism that you want from it. I think these two programs working together is just a phenomenal workflow and I think anybody should do it. So now this is the garment that I had in mind. I'm just going to do a few little updates and I'm going to let this play out a little fast. This is a style that I did uh, just a little dolman type garment in a knit. I'm going to go ahead and um, jump around a little bit because this is not a pattern making video. But I'm going to go ahead and skip to the part where it all comes together. So I'm just working the pattern here. Um, this was not too much of a random idea for a garment, but I had thought it through. So I'm just perfecting a little ruffle flounce at the uh, bottom of the hem. I will shorten the dress a little bit and add a few little details, but all of this is going to be done in knit. Uh, texture. So what I'm actually doing is creating an opportunity for the rib texture and for the other textures to be used uh, in the design. So as you can see, there is a great level of realism, especially with the maps that have uh, the PNG transparency added to them. Once you add it as a fabric and you saw that I have quite a great fabric library building up in uh, working with style 3d fabric so basically there's a lot of uh, opportunity for uh, adjustments one of the things that I do do when using knit is that I use the um, the iron method and I iron a little bit of the excess out between the seams and it gives it that cinched tension look that is one of the tips and tricks that you'll see uh, me doing here. One of the things that I look for is just consistency. So as I'm creating the um, waist seam, I'm going to incorporate some of the rib knit in the center of the garment. Um, like I said, this is not a tutorial on how to do something because I do make a mistake right about here. 
but it is a knit garment so we're gonna just recover what we can and I'm just not gonna use this little piece that ended up being cut out um, because of the symmetry but luckily I didn't lose my symmetry so I'm um, just gonna cut it out and made it a separate piece and I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate some of the rib as like a waistband so like I said, this is not really a tutorial, so I'm going to speed this up until we get to the end and I'll talk you through a couple of the other steps. So I think this is about it guys. I am finishing up here, but as you can see, we've got our great textures. Uh, when I render, I like to render a few poses at a time and you're able to do that in Style 3D and um, I'll render three or four poses. That way when I'm rendering, I can just switch the pose and render it again. Um, that is one of the better functions in Style 3D, being able to do that. And that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll keep you posted on more Shimaseki and Style 3D.